Deep in the mountains, mist swirled over a round stone table. A unicorn was standing beside it. With a snort, it lowered its noble head and touched the table's surface with its golden horn. The table seemed to shiver for a moment, and then its surface began to shine like a mirror. The unicorn murmured a name. There was a flash of purple light and the mist cleared. In the mirror, an image appeared. It was of a small grey pony. It's my secret unicorn. My Secret Unicorn is a fictional chapter book. It was written by Linda Chapman and illustrated by Biz Hull. Hmm. Yeah, really, that's the guy's name. It was published by Puffin in 2004. My Secret Unicorn is about a girl called Lauren Foster, who moves out of the city to the country. Her mother buys her a sweet little grey pony called Twilight. Yeah, I know, she sounds exactly like Princess Twilight Sparkle, but really this is a different thing. Anyway, soon Lauren starts to think that her pony might be magical, and she discovers a spell that might turn him into a unicorn. What will happen when she tries the turning spell? So, the unicorn story in this book is that um, Noah, as in Noah's Ark, uh, rescued two ponies, um, because obviously he took two animals of each kind on on the ark, and um, he got two ponies. And, um, but they weren't actually ponies, they were unicorns disguised as ponies. And the idea is, when they get to be two years old, then um, you have to say a magic spell, and then they will turn into proper unicorns. But because Noah took them on the ark, they passed their second birthday, and they never got turned into unicorns. Um, So, the unicorns in Arcadia uh, had to uh, figure out another spell, which would allow them to be turned into unicorns later. Um, and because this spell already exists, any other ponies who get, any other unicorns that get trapped as ponies um, can then be turned into unicorns later on. So, it, you know, kind of makes sense. Not quite sure where I'm supposed to walk. Crossover. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good story for the unicorns and he gives a reason for everything. I quite like that. Chapter 8. Trembling with excitement, Lauren read the faintly penciled words. Twilight star, twilight star, twinkling high above so far. Shining light, shining light, will you grant my wish tonight? Let my little horse, forlorn, be at last a unicorn. Her eyes flew to Twilight. Oh, Twilight, she whispered. It's the spell. Twilight bent his head as if he was nodding. Lauren jumped to her feet. She had to take Twilight to the woods and pick one of those flowers. After giving Twilight time to digest his breakfast, Lauren tacked him up and rode into the woods. Twilight seemed to know just where they were going. With his ears pricked up, he cantered along the track until they came to the little side trail. They turned down the narrow track and followed it until they reached the sunny glade. It looked just the same as the day before. A cloud of butterflies swooped over the grass and the air had an expectant feeling. Lauren dismounted and led Twilight over to the grassy mound where she found a single purple flower that had fallen to the ground. She picked it up. As she did so, a sharp tingle ran down her spine. 
She felt Twilight's warm breath on her shoulder, and she looked at him. Oh, Twilight, she whispered. I hope this is going to work. My Secret Unicorn is quite easy to read. If you like horses or unicorns and magic, I recommend it to you. You will need to know some horsey words like tacrum, wicker, and paddock, or you'll need to keep a dictionary nearby. There are 14 more books in this series. Mr. O approves of My Secret Unicorn.